Hey guys, what's up? It's Taylor Pride here. Welcome to episode 4 of the Minecraft Let's Play series. Wanted to talk to you guys today. Um, I know I said that I was going to do a Call of Duty video yesterday and uh, you guys were kind of excited for it. There was going to be some shout outs and we we're going to do some Michael Myers lobbies and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, the reason you guys haven't got that video yet is because some personal things came up yesterday and unfortunately I wasn't able to be home recording gameplay. Um, I don't really want to go into it. But yeah, I apologize to you guys. Um, there's things that happen that are just out of my control. But I definitely want to make sure to upload this every day. Um, I, I'm going to be doing a little bit different videos coming up. Because it's not just, this isn't just going to be a gaming channel. Uh, me and my friends want to turn this into kind of like a comedy channel as well. Uh, we have big plans. We're not... It's like, when you start a YouTube channel, you're like, I'm going to do this thing. And then, as you start doing it, you realize you could be doing so much more. Um, for instance, Minecraft Let's Plays. Almost, almost every YouTuber I know out there has a Minecraft Let's Play series. And so, initially, that's... I was like, hey, that's where I need to start. But if you look at the more successful channels nowadays, they're doing things, they're doing challenge videos, they're doing um, comparison videos, top five videos. And so I think what I'm probably going to do is uh, I'm going to continue the Minecraft Let's Play series as far as extra Minecraft videos go, I'm going to be doing top five seed showcases. And that, that's going to be a once a week video. So there will be five seeds. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail on these seeds though. Like, I'm not going to go into the world and find where the diamond spawn is or where there's a mob spawner. I'm probably going to go into the world see if there's any cool landmarks, things like that. Um, and I'm also going to be doing Minecraft minigame videos. I'm not very good at any of the mini mini games, but I know I gotta do something fresh for you guys. Because Let's Play just going on in the background, it's, it's entertaining, but I'm sure all of you guys have played Minecraft. It's a very popular game. It's vastly popular. And I'm sure you guys have probably done the exact same thing that I'm doing right now, chopping down some spruce wood. So I'm probably going to be playing some not-so-popular games out there. And I plan on doing Let's Plays on more story-driven games. Um, for instance, I have Halo the Master Chief Collection, and I have never even played the campaign for Halo 2 in my entire life. Um, I never got the game when I was a kid growing up. I got Halo 1 at GameStop used, and it was like $5. And then, I think for my 15th birthday, I got Halo 3. Yeah, so I mean, I've I've played Halo 2 multiplayer at friends' houses, but I've never played the campaign, so I'm kind of curious uh, to give that a shot. If I do do, if I do do, <laughs> if I do a Halo Let's Play, I'm gonna go through all the Halos, one, two, and three. And, oh, yeah, I uh, was freaking out on screen there a little bit because my jungle tree grew. 
jungle super tree. But yeah, I'd go through the uh, Master Chief collection, Halo 1, 2, 3, and then if you guys want me to keep uh, going, I think 4 is included on that. So I can go Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, and I also have 5. Um, let me know if you guys think that that's a good idea. Uh, I got a couple messages recently, uh, some people hating on my channel. They're saying, well, you know, you need to stop focusing on putting out a daily video and you need to start focusing on content. I like giving you guys daily videos and I don't know. The, the thing is, is people are going to hate on you no matter what you're doing. So I'd rather be doing something I love and have people hate me for it than, you know, this isn't like some chore for me. This is fun for me to make these videos for you guys. But as I'm going through and editing these videos and doing voiceovers, I realize just how bland the gameplay is. And I don't really think it's my fault, I guess, because it, it's Minecraft. And don't get me wrong, Minecraft is a really fun game if you're playing it. Um, I'm sure you can all agree that the majority of Minecraft videos you guys watch are probably map seed showcases or glitch videos or redstone contraptions or tutorials. Um, Let's Plays are probably pretty low on the list. And I know my channel is like at the very bottom of YouTube. Like I got I got into the YouTube so late in the game that I don't really think that there's anybody out there uh, that's really watching Minecraft Let's Plays. And the majority of my fan base is actually uh, people who play Pocket Edition. And Pocket Edition Minecraft is fun. And I have a feeling at, at this point uh, most of my fans are um, young, younger kids, probably in the you know 15 and lower range, and that's fine by me. You know, I I like my fans. I don't even know if you guys are fans though, to be honest. <laughs> you guys like my videos and watch my videos, and you guys make sure to comment. You guys are staying active, but. I don't know, I go back through and I watch my videos and I'm like, you know, Taylor Pride, you could be doing better. Maybe I'm just being too hard on myself, I don't know. I, I told you guys in yesterday's episode that I was planning on expanding my house. Um, that's what you've been seeing in the background, me breaking all my... Uh, my old hut and the new house that I'm gonna build I'm gonna build it out of spruce wood it's gonna be a pretty big it's gonna be a pretty big house I think I'm gonna go with a half circle design I think that's what I ended up going with it's, it's weird I I don't know where I got this idea. I, I used to build a bunch of, uh, my friends and I used to play a thing called uh, D-Day, Minecraft D-Day. And if you guys have ever watched dome survival videos or things like that, basically we would go into uh, creative and we'd make a giant glass dome and then me, and this is back on 360, and the worlds are relatively small on 360. 
we'd go and we block off all the entrances to the caves. <laughs> Sorry, hit my mic there. We block off all the entrances to the caves so no one could get out into the air because the whole idea of the game is that the air is contaminated and you must stay in your dome. And it was really fun. Me and a couple of my friends, we had a really good time. I remember one of my sisters was playing with us and she just kind of, she just kind of ruined it. I don't know why I didn't see it coming, but you couldn't, you couldn't leave the dome. And like, these are rules that are just set in place. It's not like I could make it so the dome was unbreakable or anything. Like it's just a glass dome. And so my sister was just like, I can leave the dome if I want. And just, she went off like 20 feet from the dome and built a house. And it just kind of ruined it for us, but that was kind of around the time that I wanted to start making a YouTube channel. Now, there's some content that seems to be I haven't seen anybody actually do this, I haven't seen any channels do it, but it seems to be content that's missing from YouTube, and that is Call of Duty, like, Let's Plays. And I know what you're thinking, oh, Call of Duty, everybody do has done everything about Call of Duty, but I, it's been since Modern Warfare 2, I haven't seen any sort of campaign and even when they do show gameplay of Modern Warfare 2 campaign, it's always the airport mission. So I'm wondering if maybe I should do that on my channel. Uh, write down below in the comments what you guys think about that. Maybe I could do a, a Modern Warfare Let's Play where I do Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3. I have played through all the campaigns beaten all the campaigns. There's only one Call of Duty campaign that I haven't beat. And that is Call of Duty Finest Hour. If you've ever played Finest Hour, like, if you've beat Finest Hour, I don't know how you did it. Because there's this one tank mission where you have to, like, drive through you basically have to drive through a panzer check fire, like rocket fire, and you, there's no way to like, avoid it. I know, finest hour, like, I haven't played it in forever, I might be able to beat the mission now. You know, if I could actually play it. I don't think it even plays on 360. Well, even then, I don't have any recording software, so I couldn't record it for you guys. But yeah, the majority of uh, people that are playing Call of Duty nowadays are um, younger people, and... I don't, I don't want anybody to get mad at me, but my honest opinion on it is I feel like young, young, the younger audience shouldn't be able to play. And I know that sounds like super harsh, but the game is rated M. You know, I don't really know. Like, the Modern Warfares were cool and then they went into the future and I think that's when it became more geared towards kids and younger fans because it, it used to be like oh this is like brotherhood this is about the guy standing next to you and then Call of Duty turned into 
oh hey, I got second on my team. Watch my guy do a dance at the end of the game. It's not really for a mature audience anymore. And Activision and Call of Duty, they're very smart about that. So I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to appeal to the younger audience. with these in-game things. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let's start a discussion in the comments section. I say that all the time. I'm like, hey, let me know what you guys think and then you guys just kind of like, oh, great video. But you, I'm not even sure if you guys are watching the video. Because if you guys are just like, yeah, nice video. And then it's like, okay, well, what about all the stuff I said? Leave your opinion in the comments, you know? You know, I'm, I'm glad you guys clicked on my channel. I'm glad you guys are viewing my videos. But sometimes I feel like you guys are just trolling for subs. You're just like, oh, yeah, nice video. Come sub to my channel. And, you know, while I want to help out my fellow YouTubers by subbing, I can't sub to every channel. Um, it, it's impossible for me to just go through the comments, say there's 50 comments and everybody's like, hey, you should come sub my channel. Now if you guys leave a comment and say, hey, go check out my channel, definitely I'll go check out your channel. You know, I'll, I'll watch a couple videos maybe and you know, I'll probably even turn on the little notification bell so when you guys upload new videos I can go check them out but as far as subscribing goes I might not subscribe to everybody that says hey you should go subscribe to me and it's nothing personal it's just I mean that's just how it is I mean imagine your videos on your guys's channels and then 15 people come in the comment section and they're like, hey, come sub to my channel. I mean, you're obviously not going to go sub to them. Not all of them, anyway. And it's not because you're a horrible person. It's because you're a human being and you just... I mean, I'm subbed to, like, maybe 10 people on YouTube. And the notifications I get on my phone are, like, insane. So imagine if you sub to like 50 different people. Right here I was confused because I'd cut down those spruce trees earlier. and But it was like way earlier and I thought the uh, saplings would still be here. But yeah. I'm hoping I don't feel sick anymore. I've been feeling sick for the last couple days. I don't know why. And the magic melon just grows back. Or no, there was a pumpkin there. <laughs> I cut the pumpkin off and then the melon just decides, yeah, I'm going to grow here now. But yeah, I'm going to work on that and I'm going to... I'm going to get myself a melon and pumpkin farm going separate from my wheat farm over there. But if you guys watch till the end of the video, comment green in the comment section below. Let me know who's actually watching. But I'm probably going to wrap up episode 4. Uh, let me know if you guys liked the video. And uh, let me know... If you guys have any suggestions, please send me suggestions for what you guys want me to do in future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.